My name is Robert Schlaberg. I'm an assistant professor in pathology and the medical director at ARUP Laboratories. Thank you very much for your interest in what I think is a very exciting topic. My hope is to convince you of the huge potential of metagenomics-based tests for identification of previously undetected pathogens. Current laboratory testing for infectious diseases requires selection of the right combination of diagnostic tests, combining direct stain, antigen detection, culture, and PCR methodologies. Most of these current technologies are targeted, answering the question, is the patient infected with pathogen X? In addition, culture-based tests require viable organisms and appropriate culture conditions, which may result in missed infections. As an example, the cause of pneumonia often remains unknown despite extensive testing. This graph shows results from two national pneumonia studies sponsored by the CDC. In both graphs demonstrate that in approximately 20% of children and 60% of adults, the cause of pneumonia could not be identified despite comprehensive diagnostic testing. In contrast, the goal of universal pathogen detection is to detect any and all pathogens directly from the patient sample. Metagenomics is the closest we can currently get to a universal pathogen detection test. Let's assume we want to analyze a routine bronchioalveolar lavage sample from a patient with pneumonia, which may contain the patient's epithelial cells and leukocytes, bacteria, and viruses. The laboratory workflow starts with extraction of total DNA and or RNA, which will be a mix of human, bacterial, and viral nucleic acids. Sequencing libraries are prepared by converting the longer DNA and RNA strands into shorter segments and adding sequencing adapters to the ends of fragments. The goal of this step is to be as sequence independent as possible, so not to alter the overall nucleic acid composition. Next generation sequencing then generates millions of short sequencing reads per sample, which need to be analyzed quickly and accurately to identify any pathogen of interest to be reported. Until recently, this last step used to take days to weeks with conventional software. Over the last two to three years, much faster data analysis tools have been developed. Our laboratory uses the diagnostic version of an extremely rapid software that was co-developed at ARUP called Taxonomer DX. In this example, we used randomly selected upper respiratory tract samples to demonstrate the power of universal pathogen detection. Results were compared to those from an FDA-cleared respiratory virus PCR panel. While results agreed well for respiratory viruses targeted by the PCR panel, numerous additional viruses were detected by metagenomics, including human coronaviruses, cytomegalovirus, human bocavirus, enterovirus, measles virus, and parainfluenza viruses. One complication of metagenomics-based tests is that it is difficult to measure their analytical sensitivity. The sensitivity depends on three main variables. The number of sequencing reads generated, also called the sequencing depth, the genome size of the targeted organism, and the sample composition. The more sequences generated from the samples, and the larger the genome size of the target organism, the more reads will be generated. While these two variables can be controlled or are known, the third variable, the sample composition, cannot be controlled and may differ significantly between samples. As a pathogen's nucleic acid competes during library preparation and sequencing with nucleic acids from the patient and the normal flora, analytical sensitivity can differ between two samples with the same organism load but different composition. Both samples contain the same number of viral particles, symbolized in purple, but the bottom sample has a higher number of patient cells. Resulting sequencing libraries from the bottom sample will contain a lower abundance of viral sequences. Internal controls spiked into the samples at known concentration can be used to identify samples with lower sensitivity. To overcome limitations of current tests and make use of the advantages of unbiased pathogen detection tests, 
we have validated a metagenomics-based test for low respiratory tract samples. Results were compared to routine culture, antigen detection tests, direct stains, and PCR. The test analyzes both RNA and DNA from the patient sample. This slide shows three example results of bronchial villa lavage samples that tested positive for Staphylococcus aureus, Legionella pneumophila, and respiratory syncytial virus. I hope I was able to convince you that universal pathogen detection holds great promise for syndromic testing, especially in vulnerable patients, including seriously ill, immunocompromised patients, the elderly, and young infants. Thank you very much for your attention.